Public Workers Union President Brian Grimes has since explained why there was an apparent no-show by public sector unions at Friday's meeting with government. We don't just do things ad hoc here at the Grenada Public Workers Union. We, we operate professionally. So we examined the content of the correspondence and what we discovered is that there was no agenda. Um, the, the agenda was extremely broad. Policy consultation and pension. What is that about? Government is contending that it is making good on its promise to meet with the trade unions on the pension issue as a Prime Minister-led government delegation hosted some of the trade unions and staff associations on Friday. However, according to a government release, only two unions together with the prison and police associations attended what government has deemed a consultative approach to the recent High Court ruling on the pension matter. Grimes says upon receiving the invitation on Tuesday, the PWU responded to government citing several concerns including a mandate that there not be more than three representatives per union. Um, I, I want to iterate to you that this is not a frolic at Kamahon Park. This is, um, this is life changing. Um, this is um, country changing. This is transformative. So we are not just going to go into a meeting on our arm based on the request of government and there is no preparation on our side. The union leader says the union's actions were even guided on the advice of the attorney, James Bristol. It should be noted that the Grenada Public Workers Union is not averse um, to meeting with the government of Grenada who has to um, honor the judgment. Um, we are just making some simple requests, but they, they are very, very salient and important. The PW president notes that the crooks to moving forward is that government has yet to confirm it will honor the judgment. To this day, to this day, there has been no commitment from the Prime Minister of this country, from the Minister of Finance, from the Cabinet of Grenada, from the government of Grenada, that, that they are going to accept this judgment. He says once this is done, the union will gladly sit with government and work out an implementation and payment plan for pension. Public officers, I know that you are wary of what happened transpired in 2018. The fact that it seemed, uh, some uh, are saying clearly, uh, we were deceived, the unions were deceived at the table um, based on a memorandum of understanding that was signed on the eve of election practically. And then after that, um, the talk about the gratuity changed from 25% to 2%. Um, I know um, many public officers are wary of, of this happening again, but I can assure you as president of the Public Workers Union, we are not going at it alone. We have no intention of negotiating away the constitutional rights of public officers. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.